What's up, guys? Uh, so, my birthday's coming up, and my girlfriend gave me an extra, uh, extra early birthday present. And come to find out, it's a new camera. So, she got me the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Uh, but now I can get like outside views of me actually sliding on track and everything like that. Which I'm really excited for because June 25th is the next time I'm going to be on track. And it's going to be Riverside, same place. They're also collaborating with uh, Southern Roots which, uh, you know, I've had a video on Southern Roots this spring, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out, it's pretty cool. Also, I have another video where I was at Riverside. Um, today, I am going to be putting a welded diff on the S13, and then I also have to replace an axle I got the axle right here, and my handbrake's been messing up, so I got another handbrake for it. Uh, so yeah, I have to move the GTO. Got to move that, and then back my car in, which you can't really see right now. It's so dark. Let's see, unlock button. Go. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I can squeeze in here. Uh, my roommate's really short, and I'm really tall, so it's kind of hard. I can hear the exhaust. So essentially we have to disconnect the drive shaft, take these out, and we have let me get the light. There's four bolts up here, one, two, or nuts, one, two, three, four. And then we have the axle bolts. There's six on each axle. And then let's see this is actually the axle I have to replace so I'm gonna pull this whole axle out uh, there's six of these and then there's a 36 millimeter axle nut uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this see how long this takes me is disconnected from the differential. Just gotta somehow it's still stuck on here. Kind of gotta play with it a little bit. Boom! Oh, drops right down, just like that.
this axle is completely loose I'll just have to do the other side and you won't have to see me do that because it's the same as this So the differential is out. It is very heavy. So if you have somebody to help you, I highly suggest having them help you. Uh, I tried it with the jack. Obviously, you saw that. It didn't work out. So I had to manhandle it. So I'm going to take a break from that for a second. Uh, I, I guess, have some really cool news uh so a couple weeks ago i was talking to so uh i was talking to them and if you watch their channel they uh, started a drift team pretty much like worldwide drift team uh the only stipulation was you mainly had to have a garage sideways banner and i think he made a I forgot what they're called. They're like little cards that go on the side skirt or whatever. But anyways, so I was talking to him and he was like, yeah, dude, uh, I'll send you a sticker out after, you know, I had to pay for it. It was like, I think it was like $35. That's it. And then, uh, so the sticker came in a couple days ago. I think it was on Friday or something like that the sticker and it's ginormous yeah. it's really cool it says garage sideways I don't know if I want to put it on the bottom of my windshield or the top it probably lasts longer on the top for sure but I don't know if I want to get rid of the I'd hit plus dome but anyway shout out to those guys garage sideways they're uh, pretty much doing it live now. They got like over 70,000 subscribers or something like that. It's crazy. I have 40 subscribers right now. I'm hoping to get more. It's just really hard to do as many videos as I can with my work schedule, sleep schedule, and all that stuff. Like, if you ever notice in most of my videos, most of the time when I'm recording, it's not. So. I mean, this is pretty much the only time I have to record stuff is, you know, when I'm by myself in my garage working on my car or working on somebody else's car, it's mainly nighttime. So, anyways, enough about that. I'm going to rest a little bit and then get started on the changing the axle out and putting the welded diff in. So... I got the drive axle out and uh, as you can see right there the boots busted it's actually been like that since I got the car back in like 2014 and uh, it doesn't look too healthy but luckily my friend had another one on a parts car that he had and he kindly sold it to me for a uh, outrageous price along with the differential so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in all right so it just slides right in 
Uh, most important thing a lot of people forget about how important this washer is because if you don't have this washer over this your nuts not gonna be able to tighten down all the way so you're just gonna have a continuous continuous problem with uh, what is this with your axle moving in and out of your hub and you don't want that so if for some reason I can't get this nut on here it's because all this rust so I'm gonna clean off these threads real quick so this nut will go on smooth and I'll be right back all right so a good tip is uh whenever you got like a lot of crud and stuff in the threads just get you a scott bright scotch bright pad or brillo pad or whatever and uh you can just kind of clean up in between the threads a little bit better with this because it's padding you can push in it and get the excess stuff and it's rough material so it cleans up cleans it up pretty good as you can see i already got the nut on there uh I just got to torque it down whenever I get everything else back on and then put this on and don't forget the cotter pin put that through and you're good to go I got the welded diff over here as you can see I got a plate welded in there and I got a plate welded on the other side I'm about to RTV it seal it uh, so I'm gonna do that real quick sealed and stuff and things uh, oh by the way Delroy's here <laughs> he just got here uh, he had to close up shop at the bar so he just showed up and he's gonna help me manhandle this bitch into the car uh, and then all I gotta do after that is change the handbrake out and that's it i, I and change it or put fluid in it yeah. i hate that every time that you're like hey let's hang out you're like i'm like that's cool i'll hang out with john but it turns out maybe help me with your fucking car <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> unfortunately every time i ask delroy to hang out i'm working on my car and he has to help me because i can't do it by myself because you suck because i suck apparently uh so, like this video if you appreciate Delroy coming to help me out with my car. It's recording. Yeah. So, this dude John over here fixed a bolt. Yeah, yeah just flattened out a bolt. Hell yeah. Because it was stuck and I didn't have the right tools. You should always have the right tools. But anyways, uh, I had to get a chisel and try to get it out at one time but it's all good now so i mean i got it off no problem and flattened out all the edges so now this box in can go over it and i can tighten it up hell yeah reuse car pen bucket lifetime warranty <laughs> Best part about swapping a diff, filling it with fluid. I think I'm out. All right, so sorry I forgot to record a couple things, but that's what happens when I work on cars. I just <coughs> I get so busy and I just forget to record it. Uh, basically, everything's tightened and full of fluid and everything like that uh, I was gonna do the handbrake thing but my where the cables attach together it's seized up so I'm not gonna worry about it tonight because 
Yeah. What what time is it? Four fifty three. Four fifty three. Mm-hmm. What is it? It said four fifty three AM. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we are just gonna button everything back together. Button everything up or however you wanna say it. And uh That should be it for tonight. Um, so, I don't know what to say. I'm so tired. You suck. Yeah. So, that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just ask in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like this video. If you appreciate every time Delroy comes over, he has to help me do something. <laughs> um, so, hope to see you next time. And have a good day.